Hello everyone, this is Rachel Kleinman from rwcrafts.com and I wanted to share with you all of the August cards that I made using the Hero Arts subscription kits and also their extraordinary extras. I fell in love with this entire release and I decided I was going to make it my mission to use every single one of the release products. So I want to share what I created. These first two cards use the main August uh, 2024 kit of the month. There's so much included with this kit, which I'll just briefly open it for you all. But here are two cards that I created. You have these beautiful layered parrot stamps, layered like vines and leaves stamps. And there's also some really large dies included that I used um, like an embossing folder almost. So... I love this card, clean and simple in a way. And then this one, I just had to go bright and bold. <laughs> so I used some of the metallic sprays that Hero Arts has in their collection to spray these very large dyes, the same ones that I used to emboss here. And again, some little parrots. When I first got this kit, the very first thing I did was make parrots of all different colors. <laughs> I just really could not stop. So here's what's included in the main kit. I am filming this and hopefully posting it on September 1st, 2024. And I just checked the website. And as of right now, um, the main kit is actually like $40 off some, something crazy. It's, it's a big, big discount. So if you want this kit before it sells out, here's a stencil that's included. Make sure you go get it <laughs> while it's on sale. It also has matching dies for that large stamp set. And then here are the larger dies. I tried to, there they are. So you get some beautiful leaves, that gorgeous like hibiscus flower and the vine and the dies. Also included in the kit, which I do not have handy to share, is um, some gorgeous like stickable paper. And you get ink cubes, you get glimmer shimmer ink cubes that we don't even have yet as the design team. And you also get a new olive wax and then a new plastic palette knife, which is really handy to have that plastic one. It's so easy to clean. So that's the main kit cards that I created is these two here. I have these two rubber stamps here because this one, the orchids, is the rubber stamp of the month. This leaves stamp, rubber stamp, is an extraordinary extra, so it's not going to sell out instantly, but it will eventually. So these two I incorporated in a variety of my cards, so I'm just kind of keeping them off to the side. These two birthday cards, I really, really love how they turned out. They're so clean and simple, but like pack a punch <laughs> in a way. So those two cards use this beautiful stamp set with matching dies. It's called Jungle Serenity. So you see, I just use this piece as the focal point and then this vine, I doubled, I believe I doubled it up. Yeah, I doubled up that vine here. And this one uses the little butterfly accents. And this one uses those sweet little toads. And I did color these with my Copic markers. And then this frame is a classic. It's uh, one of their infinity dies. It's a wood frame infinity die. So this set is very, very sweet. And the sentiments are so great for really any occasion. I love how those turned out. This is the next stamp set that I use. This is the August 2024 clear stamp and die stamp set. So friendly called <laughs> birds of paradise. So these stamps are just so beautiful and I really went to town coloring them. I've spent the majority of my time on these cards on the coloring. I did use my polychromos colored pencils. You can see how nicely those colored pencils blended here. And then I just did a simple background stamp tone on tone. This stamp is an older background stamp. I believe it's called Swirls and Flowers. I'll link to it, but it's really nice, really subtle. And by stamping the same color stamp ink as that matches the cardstock, you just get a slight little impact there. So again, another beautiful stamp set with matching dies. These cards I have not shared on Instagram. I don't know why, <laughs> I just never got around to it. But these cards use 
these fancy dies. So this is Birds of Paradise fancy dies. So you see you, you get this large, these large two leaves here and then the two Birds of Paradise facing opposite directions. And then I really wanted to play with these with the uh, liquid watercolors that Hero Arts has. So these are with the neon or brights watercolors. So I just want to do something fun. You see the orchid stamp, that's this one here, heat embossed in the background. The leaves are sprayed with green and teal metallic sprays. And then again, these are die cut from their watercolor paper and then colored with the neon different uh, liquid watercolors. And again, this uses the same orchid background stamp. So those are fun. They're bright, funky, something different. <laughs> Thought they were cool. This is, uh, these two cards are the first cards I made in the set and they use this is the August Fancy Dye. It's so much fun. I fell in love with these little insects. It's actually, um, <laughs> other than the parrots, I inked up several parrots and then I played with these insects and I love how they turned out. So I die cut them from colored cardstock and then I ink blended with a slightly different ink shade just to get some different shading on there. And then I emboss them with clear embossing powder like three or four times. I wanted it to be very thick. I wanted it to look like glass almost. So you see with this card, it's very clean and simple. I just used this large vine die here to emboss rather than cut. And then I added the three blue insects. And then this one, I use again this leaves background stamp. So I use this with some of the iridescent embossing powders. I also stamp the leaves on Bermuda paper. And then again, you have these very glossy, glassy looking insects. So I got, this got me really excited <laughs> and I just had to keep going. I could not stop. So these are the vine and insect you see there. So this was the August fancy dyes of the month. Next I have these two cards, which focus on the layering stencils of the month. So when you get the layering stencils, you also get like this cheat sheet that shows you how to do it. And with these ones, you don't have to use all four. You can just use in combos of two and you'll still get a really pretty outcome. I did use all four in what <laughs> what has become my favorite color combo, wasn't expecting it, but this teal and purple, um, it uses the orchid ink. If you do not yet have orchid ink in your stash, highly, highly, highly recommend. That's this gorgeous purple color. So this one, smile, celebrating you is easy. And you see that I, um, I inked up one panel and then die cut the center. The remains, <laughs> the remains from that center die cut is what I used here on this card, so nothing went to waste. I did do a glitter paste coat on the top layer. It's hard not to. <laughs> if you own glitter paste, you'll find yourself using it on literally everything. And then these palm trees are actually stencils from the main card kit. You get that in the main card kit. So I love how those turned out, just very fun, bright and fun. And then my last card uses this stencil here, let me check the name of this one, Jungle Scene Stencil. So this stencil is really fun because you can create, as it's called, different scenes in any way that you want. And I really wanted to create like little windows as if you're going on a safari. <laughs> so again, you see this orchid background stamp. I embossed it in silver onto nautical paper. And then to match, I used a uh, gray and blue inks to blend over the stencil and then I cut them out like little windows on your trip. And then I thought the big thanks matched very well with that elephant there. So that was a fun one to make. And the last one, so I said I used every single product, that was a lie. I used every product but one. And that's because one of the products is this letterpress and foil plate. Now I could have foiled it. I do have a foil machine that I'm familiar with, but I just got in the mail. 
I finally did it. I got the better press letter uh, letter press system machine. So this just arrived. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm very, very excited to give it a try. And I really want this to be the first uh, item that I try on my better press, better press system. That's a mouthful. So I have not used this one yet, but everything else has been used and loved. And like I said, if you are interested in any of these items, most of them are for the month of August only. And once they sell out, they're gone. So if you're interested in them, go shopping. Like I said, I saw that those card kits were major discounted. So you're going to want to get on that before they go back to full price or just straight sell out. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the cards that I shared today and enjoy what's left of the long Labor Day weekend. Thank you so much. Bye.